Hi, I'm Sean. Welcome to Denver, Colorado. This is my Jeep. That's my Volkswagen. Over oh, there's my 72 Triumph. And they all share time in my garage. Hi, my name's Tom Aspinall. I'm here in my garage, and I'm going to talk to you about some unique garage accessories. Hello, my name is Brian Scott. I have my own little busted knuckle garage. My favorite garage accessory is probably my uh, super cool hydraulic lifting cart. It's pretty handy because you can adjust it to just about any height you want. I can also put it under cars to remove heavy objects. It makes a handy little portable roll around workbench. Having something at the proper work height makes the work easier, more enjoyable, and quicker. So this is one of my favorite little custom features of this garage and basically you eject this part into your air compressor and then it feeds into copper tubes just like you would use for plumbing. We've got copper tubing mounted on the ceiling. It goes across so that I've got air in the middle of the garage if I need it. The benefit to this is that you've got easily accessible compressed air for your air tools right in the middle of the garage. It's up here, out of the way. It's really awesome. Today we're going to talk about putting in spark plugs. We want to make sure that when you're installing a spark plug into your automobile that you're not going to damage it while you install it. The trick that I use in my shop is that I'll take a piece of vacuum hose. I'll slide it over the end of the spark plug, getting it snug up over the insulator. I'll take some anti-seize, just dab it around the edge of the threads that way that they don't seize up into the heads. Then, when you slide it down into place, you can sit there and you can spin it and turn it into place by hand. Once it's tight, you pop it off, you haven't damaged your insulator. Now you can easily slide that socket down onto it and then you're only going to turn it maybe an eighth, quarter of a turn at best. As you can see, it's a lot easier to install the spark plug using my tube method versus using the very stiff socket set and wrench set. All right. Peeps.